Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, The Frosty Planet. In our last episode, we got our humble little base started. We've got a pee dumping area. <laughs> uh, also polluted water. Same thing, I guess. And uh, we're starting work on growing some of these pike apple bushes. I need more pike apple seeds. And just in general, trying to get some sustainability going here. I think that's the key to this base. Uh, ceiling collapse. Oh, no. What? What happened here? Did... Oh, uh, maybe some snow fell down. I don't know, actually. Sure doesn't look like the ceiling's collapsed. Um, so one thing I want to point out, and this is more on a general YouTube sense, is I didn't do a lot of editing in the last episode. And that's because it all felt important to me. And it's hard when, I, when I've got the... The raw footage open the, in the editor, I'm just like, man, if I cut that out, then people won't know what got explained here and what got explained there. And it feels like, I don't know, I spend a lot of time kind of explaining what I'm doing and, and discovering systems, and it feels really bad to cut those things out. They're all, feels like all of the little bits and pieces are important. Um, but I might be wrong about that. You guys might appreciate if I cut it down to about 50%, you know, of, of the time gets cut out and I focus more on the important things. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you prefer to see more edited, kind of edited down content, more of a two to one ratio maybe, where you see about two hours worth of gameplay in only one hour of YouTube footage, uh, let me know what you think about that sort of thing. I'm still trying to figure out my balance as I'm, uh, you know, working on the consistency and the full-time nature of content creation. I'm trying to figure out what works best. And certain series might lend themselves better to more or less. Obviously, there are certain games, you know, I'm thinking of like a modded Minecraft, where if I'm just going to go mine things for two hours, like, that's not the most riveting content, and that's a great thing to cut. In a game like this, though, it feels like pretty much every minute or two, you're doing something important. There's not long sections of just boring stuff that's easy to cut out. So I'm not really sure what I would cut. I guess I could just play for a while, not talk for a while, and then just kind of update you on everything that's happened over the last few minutes. Stuff like that might might be possible. So let me know what you prefer. Um, I'm definitely flexible on kind of growing and changing how I do things on YouTube, but for now I'm going with the less editing of the series and I'm gonna try to do more consistent videos. I'm also gonna try to do shorter videos. Oh my God, the last one ended up being over an hour. That was not planned. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about the length of the videos and um, we'll, we'll figure that out. My goal is to go more for like 40 minute episodes. That's kind of the, the long-term goal. I think that's about right for YouTube. It, it's still a long enough video that you guys get a good amount of content, but the really long videos just don't, they don't do as well, to put it bluntly, and I also don't think they're as bite-sized. And I want things to be a little bit more bite-sized. It's funny, I'm calling 40 minutes bite-sized. In in many spheres, a bite-sized YouTube video is two minutes long. But no, for me, a 40-minute video is bite-sized. <laughs> so I want to move more towards that That's, uh, length of video. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments about kind of the meta YouTube stuff. But apart from that, we are going to just keep rolling in our frosty planet trying to keep everybody warm and okay so our current uh issue is trying to get bots to sleep the right amount and eat the right amount and breathe the right amount and they do most of that automatically but can i provide them with enough food is the other question uh so we're trying to get more pike apple skewers here i've got a few more bushes so I think this is where I can do the copy tool. No, that doesn't seem to work. Oh, right, copy settings. That's the slash button. There we go. So there's my four pike apple bushes. I wonder if I can copy to these. Yeah, that way when we get the seeds, they'll go ahead and plant them in. And how did that happen? Is that an oxalite problem? I guess now I need to make a tile underneath it. High priority. And I'm trying to remember. Yeah, this is to let the the CO2 escape. We're going to need CO2 scrubbers at some point. Um, some sort of pump to move CO2 somewhere. These consume 500 milligrams a second. 
these make 1600 milligrams a second. I say these. By these, I mean dupes. Um, so... Uh, let's see. 80 grams. 1.6 grams. Wow. That's not a large conversion. I wonder what actual humans do. But all that to say, I would need three alveoveras per... Um, her dupe to properly transition. And what does it make? Oxalite 36 kilograms. Um, I wonder. How much oxygen does it make? Is oxalate... Uh, the chemical makeup here implies that it's 40% oxygen by weight. I'm curious if that actually is accurate. Uh, I kind of want to look it up now. I'm curious. So if, if this emits 36 kilograms of oxalate and we have 40% oxygen out of that, then that would be about... About half of, about, I don't know, about 15 kilograms of oxygen. But again, how many seconds worth of carbon dioxide did it consume for that? And then it uses ice, which would undo the oxygen. If I'm already throwing ice into it, I'd be better off just melting that ice and electrolyzing it into oxygen, I think. I don't actually know. Um... An egg cracker. I don't think we need that. Assumes algae, converts algae. These are both kind of similar. That produces polluted oxygen. I don't need that yet. Uh oh. Oh, it's just out of resources. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, we'll just keep working on researching for now. Interesting. Diagnostics here. Breathability. I think we still have plenty of oxygen. We just need a place for the CO2 to escape, which now we finally have opened up. So we should see more CO2 kind of falling down this area, hopefully. The way gases work is so weird. I guess we need a two tile. Maybe I'll just open that up. A two tile wide will work a lot better. Okay, so now I just finished a research of liquid valve, gas valve, airflow tile. Oh yeah, airflow tiles, that's what we want. And those need to be made out of metal. So, like, I can make an airflow tile there. I probably want a couple up here. Maybe a couple over here. Okay, so that way we can work on oxygen freely moving. And CO2 freely moving. Seems important. Uh, I'm gonna mine up those tiles. I think we can do the... We have a digger, so we can dig the granite there. I forget who. But somebody has a digging hat. Edison. Good old Edison. Okay, we need to pick a research. So, I don't know what to research next. I could go for a combustion generator of some sort. Smart battery. Um. Hmm. Probably want advanced research, right? 
Or should I work towards a sick bay? I don't even know. Plumbing is going to be important. Maybe I should work on plumbing. Actually, yeah, probably plumbing and sanitation should be the next thing I do. Gas filters are nice because they can pull out a specific gas rather than just any gas. Refines slime into algae, refines wood into ethanol. This is what we really want is the water sieve, but that uses sand. Do we have sand around some? I don't think I've seen any sand. I also have no idea how quickly and easily we can get to other planets. There's some salt water over here. Interesting. So the, here's some sand. Um, radiation overlay. Ooh. Interesting. Weez warts are radioactive? That's new. That's new to me. Huh. Oxygen overlay. All right, so now we should see, yeah, a good amount of CO2 moving down here. Probably for the best if I replace these with airflow tiles. And then I don't even know what to do next. Oh yeah, did I get the, the animal? No, I would like to start breeding the uh, floxes. Is that what these are called? Yeah. Shearable wood. Yeah, cause I don't think, I mean, if I wrangle one, does it do anything at this point? I don't have anyone with the critter wrangling skill anyway. Um, can you be my critter wrangler? Oh, I guess it's my farmer that needs it to do that. Mm, Supercomputer usage. Your science is mediocre at best. Strength. You have a lot of strength. Uh, what can you do with all that strength? Eventually we'll need a rocket pilot, but I think I'll do advanced research for now. We need someone to do it. Food is gonna be a problem. If we don't grow it fast enough. So yeah, I think the most important thing right now is sustainable pike apple production. We seem to have plenty of oxalite around, so I don't need to worry about oxygen yet. I don't think that's the primary issue. Why can't I put those there? Those are occupied spaces, really? These need two tiles to grow? Interesting. In that case, I might just uproot these because they're going to be annoyingly in the way. And I'll cancel these builds. And I'll deconstruct the buildings. And I'll mine that tile. Y'all get that done. Mmm. Fun job, Derpamu. Looks very enjoyable. Oh man. Yeah, automated lavatorying is gonna be pretty important. Plumbing research complete.
That's a long job. Ta-da! Blue dirt needs to go down there. Maybe. I'll order a sweepage. How are the germs looking? Germs are looking pretty good. I think this wash wash basin was a good idea. I think the problem is that they're also washing their hands when they don't need to be, like right there. But sometimes they skip it. Why do they skip it sometimes and not other times? I guess uh, I'm not entirely clear on that. Maybe they know how many germs their their hands have. I don't actually know how that works. All right. So do I have oxalite in here? Only 35 kilograms. And it does sublimate its way out of storage. Okay, that's what I was curious about. Is if it still does that. Oh, they grow to be two tiles tall. I see it now. Okay, so then I can throw a couple more farm tiles here and here. And what I'm really hoping for is when we harvest these, we get a seed. There's a chance on every harvest, if I was reading it correctly. Base, yeah. 10% chance. So, we need those to propagate over time that way. And eventually we're going to have to start pumping CO2 somewhere else, or scrubbing it. How do we scrub CO2? Maybe that's a billion alveoveras, option one, which costs a lot of ice. Um, option two is... Air systems. Not electrolyzer. Where's the scrubber? Hmm. Mechanical surfboard. Rocket stuff, temperature modulation, HVAC, uh, aqua tuner. That's all heat related. Decontamination, deodorizer. No. Carbon skimmer. Uses water to filter carbon dioxide from the air. So I guess that's what I really need. Um, so once we get proper lavatories going, I think I want to move towards getting decontamination going. Gosh, there's so much new stuff since the last time I played. It almost feels like a different, different game, to be honest. Like, so much of this stuff was, like, late game. They've really made some of the more complex stuff available earlier, which I do like. Um, like, the older one, there just wasn't as much stuff available. Now, I could also plant some of the alveoveras, but I am a bit worried about the ice. Uh, two cycles, 20, so it'd be 40 kilograms. I'm going to Google real quick. Um... How many seconds per cycle? Oxygen. Not included. One cycle lasts 600 seconds. So, we would... 600 seconds. And a dupe breathes... How much again? Um, I guess I can look in the, the stats thing again. Okay, so about 50 kilograms a day. Uh, 50 kilograms a day. And I'm trying to do the math on ice here. So if I'm using 40 kilograms of ice to produce 
36 kilograms of oxalate. Oxalite conversion ratio, oxygen not included. Um, is it gonna tell me? Oh God, I hate fandom. I know it's free and that's why, Ugh, so frustrating. Over time, mind oxalite emits its full mass as oxygen, but when an oxalite block is mined, it loses 50% of its mass. So either way, oxalite will emit the same total mass of oxygen. Okay, so it's not 40%, even though chemically it is. So that would be 18 kilograms of oxalite. So what that means is we're actually getting free. Okay. So let hold on. So 20 kilograms a day per dupe would mean we'd basically need two alveoveras per dupe. The problem is I'm consuming ice. I'm consuming 40 kilograms of ice. Um per two day cycle. Two cycle, cycle. <laughs> two cycles is in a cycle uh, to produce the oxalite. Um, so then the question is the electrolyzer, which I'm not gonna be able to see it, am I? Electrolyzer, where are you at? This thing. So this converts water. I'll do that research next. Um, and we'll see how it compares. Should we pursue alveoveras or should we pursue electrolyzing the water? And I can't know until I see the recipe. And for now, we are hoping to produce better lavatoryage. And this is going to produce polluted water. And I don't have sand, so that means we're just going to have to pump it into a dump. So plumbing, liquid pipe. You know, I'd like more rock. I need to do some rock mining. Uh, where's a good place to mine out a lot of rock? This is all rock here, so let's, let's mine that out. And then I will replace these with airflow tiles. For now. Let's see, I'll kind of make a stairway here. There we go. Um, and then this will be a ladder. I need to deconstruct it, then that will be a ladder. No. Ah. Deconstruct, copy. Oh, you can't put a build order over a deconstruct order. You gotta wait till it's done. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So we'll do that. And that should get me a lot of rock. And lavatories. Yeah, I, d I guess we could pump it over here. We're gonna have to deal with polluted water eventually. Is the problem. And the sieve would make it so that I can just make a cycle. And then we're just spending sand. And I think there's a way to turn polluted dirt into sand? Is it the crusher? Turns dirt into sand? Maybe. I think the rock crusher, or it might be multiple steps, but there's a way to kind of just make the whole thing loop. And I don't remember if it's net positive or not. Again, whatever I, even if I remembered it correctly, it's old knowledge, so it doesn't even matter anymore, probably. So we got a lot going on. Food is still my primary concern. I can break into these areas if I need some more. There's a random sherberry over here. How did that get there? 
I don't know what happened with that. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, sorry, I just had to pause the recording, so I sort of lost my brain place. We are working on food, food, food. I was trying to do the math on alveoliveras, that's right. And until we know how an electrolyzer works, we're not sure which way we should do ice. Um, insufficient ice is an interesting error. Given I have ice everywhere, it seems I've run out. So let's mine a little bit more here. Also worth pointing out, snow is not ice, so I may have to have some sort of... I don't even know. A place where we melt snow, maybe? And then I know there is an ice maker type thing somewhere. So let's see what we can print here. Ugh, again? Nothing useful? I was hoping for, like, some food? Uh, I'm not ready for dupe number five. I'm not ready for dupe number five. That's one thing that I know is, at least it used to be a noob trap. Maybe the meta has changed, but I know that it used to be like, oh, don't take every dupe you see. That's actually something you don't want to do because it's harder to sustain a colony if you're taking all the dupes. Um, it does look like this is not working quite as well as I hoped. It seems the CO2 is sort of flowing in, but the oxygen's not really flowing out. Um, so yeah, the CO2 is starting to become an issue. Do I need to build an air pump just for that? Oh God, I don't know. I don't know how to do anything in this game anymore. That's kind of fun. Um, how much is it, air pump? Gas pump. It uses 240 watts. I forget. What does this produce? 400 watts. Yeah. It might be a good idea. It feels kind of wasteful, though. Maybe if I open up some airflow tiles to over here? Maybe if I mine that and I open up this for airflow, that'll work out a little better. And I open up these. Yeah, I like that idea. So let's do that. Let's build some ladders down here. So this will kind of be the flat area. And then we will open up this. And then maybe along here will be airflow tiles there and there. Heck, maybe we'll make it two sections wide there. Okay. That's a little... That'll be a little better, I think. What is all this? Geographical survey. Deposits of abyssalite and neutronium. Mm-hmm. New achievement. Outdoor renovations. Wait, what? Where did I make a building? That it's counting that? I'm actually curious. What, what did I even build that counts as a building outside the starting biome? It really doesn't feel like I did that. <laughs> uh... Is that not the achievement I just got? I'm not sure. Okay, the electrolyzer's unlocked, so now we can finally answer our question. Oxygen. So, this bad boy turns water into about 90% oxygen. And I presume ice and water are one-to-one, -one, but that's dangerous to presume anything. Um... Yes, 100 kilograms of ice goes into 100 kilograms of water. So, that means that the ice that I feed 
into an Alveo Vera would be 40 kilograms over two cycles. And that 40 kilograms of ice could instead be 36 kilograms of oxygen instead of 36 kilograms of oxalite. So it's actually the same? Interesting. As far as I can tell, this is going to be the oxalite that is already um, ready to go. You know what I mean? Like it's not it's not going to produce a block of oxalite. It'll produce a little square of oxalite or sphere. So that means. Oh, I hope I'm right about this. I think that means it will just produce. Oh, what? 300 grams per cycle. That's not right. Oh, that's 500 milligrams. Oh, yeah, that is right then. Okay. But does 18 kilograms per cycle produce eight? Um, will this tell me? Produced by... Yeah. As far as I can tell, the Alveo Vera is just as efficient as an electrolyzer. And it cleans up some of the CO2 for me. So if that's the case... I think... Oh man, I hope this is right and I'm not off by 50% or something. If that's the case, I think I want to do this and plant a bunch of Alveo Vera down here. It will require a decent amount of ice, but I would melt that ice and turn it into water anyway, and this way I don't have to melt it. So that saves me either wood or something else, and I am running out of wood, so we need to get to harvesting these phloxes sometime soon. Um, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 1, 12, 13, 14 pike apples. That's almost enough to feed everybody, so that's a plus. I just need phosphorite. Uh, speaking of phosphorite, what is our phosphorite amount look like? I'd like to track that. I have nine tons? Okay, that's plenty. Right now I'm using, what, these are five per cycle per piece. So 20 of these would only be 100 kilograms a cycle. Yeah, we're fine. That would be 90 cycles of that. And I don't even quite have 20, so. We're good for a while on phosphorite, presuming I don't use it on other things. These projects are getting done, which is nice. I'm gonna uproot that one. Yeah, we need the CO2 to be able to flow kinda over here and down. And then, what else do we have? A sink. Removes germs. Removes some germs. So I guess it's just better. And it's a plumbed method. Yeah. Plumbing is on my list of things we need to do. Um, trying to think about what we want to do with the polluted water, though. Do we, do we have the ability to pipe it now? Yeah. I'll use granite. And... I forget. Can you build... 
dig errand. Okay, so we don't... Yeah, I couldn't remember if you could build pipes through terrain or not. I think you can build them through tiles, but only the tiles you've built, not just through anything. So, we're gonna liquid pipe through here all the way over to our lavatory stuff. So that will be the output, and then I'm gonna need... Ah, uh, uh, liquid vent. There we go. Down there. There we go. So, polluted water will go over there. And when we get lavatories going, we can do that. And then... How am I gonna... It's your pump. It's like I need a liquid pump. But we don't have a basin of water yet. Right now our water is manually. Yeah, I'm gonna need some sort of ice melting pit. I don't know exactly how that's gonna work yet. But they'll get that done. Uh, research. I do want to get the rock crusher and see if that can do something with sand for me. Food, I'm doing okay. I don't know why the pike apple skewer is just sitting there. Is there a good reason for that? Will that get moved into the ration box if I tell it to get swept? At a priority of four? Anybody? It seems like it should be. This isn't full. Huh. Why is that not getting swept? Weird. Somebody should be doing that. Before construction. Something's off here. Something is off. What is going on? What if I... What if I top priority this? Will someone actually do it now? There you go. Interesting. I wonder... I guess sweeping is just such a low... Oh, you know what? I think everybody had higher priorities. Nobody had sweeping. Storing. No. Sweet Corn Whiskey has storing at the same priority as everything else. And tidying. So Sweet Corn Whiskey should have done that. Because their duplicate priority had tidying as high as anything else. Interesting. Well, I have another pike apple bush. Beautiful. Can they can they walk up here? I just realized that might not be an open path. I'm curious. Curious if that works or not. Plant some alveoveras here. Gotta deal with the CO2, baby. Uproot that one. I'm curious if they, uh, here, why don't we... Now that we have moved two orders. Okay, they can do that. Grilling and chilling those pike apple skewers. Beautiful. Get 
Getting research done, getting the pipes done. So that should mean I can replace this with a sink, right? Rust. Deoxidizer. Okay, I'm curious what all this can make. I guess it won't tell me. I need to build one. Uh, this will go on the next floor, I think. I'm going to wait on that. wait on that um, so let's build then the sink is there something I feel like there's everything but one what I'm wondering is because this is to put bottles into liquid form but then dump it physically into the world I want to take bottles and put them into the liquid network. Do I need to do a bottle emptier and then a liquid pump at the bottom of an area? to Do, do I need both of those together? Or if I just build a sink. Um, will that work? Oh no. The whole point of the sink is now ineffective. Right. Well, we'll figure it out. First order of business is to build the sink. But yeah, they need to have the lavatories next to the sink. Um, maybe I'll just move all that over here. This is kind of an open spot right now. So, how tall are the new lavatories? They're three tiles, okay. Yeah, and we'll want showers eventually. So that's four tiles tall. For now, I'll do something like that. And then I can do liquid pipes to there. And then we just need water in. And I will need to figure out water. I don't know what we're doing with water yet. To be determined. Cycle 15. As far as I can tell, we are hundreds of miles beneath the surface of the planet. Digging our way out will take some time. My duplicates will survive, but they were not meant for sustained underground living. Under what possible circumstances could my pot have ended up here? I'm curious. Yeah, I mean, space used to be like right here. So are we that far away from space? I don't actually know how it works now. Don't know how it works now. All right, these are getting built. Beautiful. Consume that CO2. It's not going to consume all the CO2. Wait, what? 2,000? Ah! Oh, these consume four times as much because they're going four times as fast. Now that's handy. I didn't realize it would use four times as much. And these are producing... Oh, sweet. Um... So basically, one of these per dupe is all I need. I think that might be what's going on. I might only need five of these. And that should consume the amount of CO2 that, that four dupes are producing. And it should produce enough oxalite to compensate. Nice.
Okay, now for water supply. I do you think I'm gonna need a liquid pump? I just don't know the best way to do this. Um. I think I need a bottle emptier on a liquid pump. This is gonna be weird. Because how else do I get water into the pipes? I don't know if I can. Uh, let me look in research. Let me see if there's another... Another thing I'm missing. Liquids. A liquid filter. Not what we need. Liquid cargo tank. Rocket. Uh, loader and unloader. No. Or scrubber. Uh, rocket storage. Intake and output. Liquid shut off, no. Liquid reservoir, sort of. Induction panel. No, none of this is what we want. Interesting, I just want the ability to put liquid directly into the network. Canister filler? That's gas related. Yeah, maybe I'm missing something, but it doesn't seem like I can do another way than this. Like, how else would I get water from the ice liquefier? Because that gets bottled. It doesn't have a plumbing connection. Is there a grown-up ice liquefier? Where did I even get the ice liquefier? Um, colony development... Space program. Power regulation. Food. Solid material. Medicine, liquid. Yeah, where's the ice thing? Where did it even come from? Ice. Here, ice liquefier. Oh, we got that from the... Oh, what's it called? Um, the thing we found, the research unlocker thingy. Yeah. Space heater... Yeah, I don't see a way other than just throwing a bunch of snow in with a space heater <laughs> no i don't see a way to produce water easily actually really interesting how to make water here so i think recycling the water um, we should prioritize that research. The skimmer? What's it called? No, that's a carbon skimmer. Uh, the water sieve. We want to prioritize that. So after I do this, I will need the advanced science, which is here. Maybe I'll just do that first. bottle off. Okay, so they won't fetch liquid from a bottling station. Does this count as a bottling station? Hmm, I guess we'll find out. If anybody empties something there. Oxygen is, I think, still okay. The oxalite has helped. 
think a lot of the oxalite's gotten used up, though. I might need to uncover some. Yeah. We might need to dig out... Dig out some oxalite here. Still have plenty of food. Everything seems to be going okay. Nobody's dead. Nobody's gotten themselves stuck in a giant vat of urine. So these are all very good things. Very good things. Um... Yeah, so these need to be disabled for now. Until the pipes are done here. Let's prioritize that a little higher. Get those done, please. Four dupes take some time to get things done. I also may not need this many. Let's cancel those. I think six is going to be enough. Given that pretty much one is enough per dupe, six should be enough to help us catch up. Because I want to consume all this CO2. Try to turn... Get more oxygen going here. And then ice? How are we doing on ice? I should probably add ice to my... 74 tons! I have plenty of ice. Wow. And if I have six of these, that's 120 kilograms a cycle. Which is a ton every eight cycles. So... Yeah, we're good. We're good. No problems there. Okay, this is getting done. Oh, you know what? I just realized... Uh, oh god, this is below freezing. As soon as water gets dumped, it's gonna freeze back into ice or snow. This is actually trickier than I thought. I might need a space heater down here, too. Okay, advanced research is done. We cured a sick duplicate? Who was diseased? No one ever told me anybody was diseased. Did I completely miss that? It's definitely possible. Um, I will take dirt. Sure. Dirt don't hurt. Still confused on the disease thing. Um, kilns produce ceramic. Telescope. Yeah, we're not building that anytime soon. Skill scrubber. Refunds duplicate skill points. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Supercomputer. We're going to need that. It needs water and more power. All right. I'm going to chill for a minute on research. Auto bottle is off, but they did just dump some water. Where did they get that water? I wasn't watching. Um... But the good news is... Oh, you know, I do need one more research. Sorry. Uh, if you're like Crydex, you keep not finishing your sentences. Uh, don't worry. I'm frustrated by that, too. <laughs> um, I do need to power this, which means I need to do a research that can power this. And I am curious how long that's going to stay liquid. It's negative 2.8 degrees. Um, you know what I could do is build some insulation around it. Let me disable that. Igneous rock has slow heating. 
So that's good. To heat and cool slowly. Low thermal conductivity. Maybe I build snow tiles in this little area. Yeah, I am curious though if they brought water from here to here. I'm guessing they did. I can't imagine what else they would have gotten water from. Oh, look at this. Look at all this oxygen. Beautiful. And it's just chomping up all that CO2. It's interesting this digging still hasn't gotten done. I would like that part to get done. A lot more gas exchange here. There's always so much to do and oxygen not included. So much to do. Maybe I should take another dupe? Are we, I think we're okay on food. And a few more, a few more pike apples and I'll have enough food for five dupes. I said four of these was enough, right? Four makes us 3,200 kcals. But then we increase that by 50% to 4,800 kcals every, how many cycles? Every three cycles. Yeah, that's more than enough. some digging. Am I, am I doing this wrong? Oh, yes. Higher priority. Oh my god. No wonder. Uh, what game was I playing recently where a priority of one is a higher priority? That's, uh, that's what's been going wrong with priorities. LOL. Uh, many of you have probably already commented. Hashtag Crydax be dumb. Uh, <laughs> whoops. My bad, y'all. My bad. Uh, that's a silly mistake. Silly mistake. All right, now I do want to open this up too. And then the CO2 can flow along the ground level here. And this is all gonna be lower priority. Diggage. Oh, sweet, this got done, okay. So we need to power it. Wire. Um, there we go. wires built and then if we enable you let's see if someone grabs water from the liquefier starvation what what um that felt weird nobody should be anywhere close to starving no, sir. No starvage. Not here. Alright. Really struggling with this oxygen movement. And what is that? Polluted oxygen? Where is that all coming from? Why do I have crap tons of polluted oxygen? 
Is it because of this? Isn't that a... Pneumatic door. Encloses areas without blocking liquid or gas flow? Crap. I thought it did. Ah. Uh, so we need an airlock here. That's where the polluted oxygen's coming from. Ah, uh, that's frustrating. Um... What? The heck? Can't. Oh, I must have not had tile built there. I think I'm just kind of being a dummy today. Whoops. Whoopsies. All right, yeah, get that mind out, please. There we go. Now we've got three tiles wide for gas exchange. Which should do a decent job of letting oxygen up there. Polluted oxygen is annoying. We're going to have to figure that out. Um, there we go. That'll at least block most of it. Okay, uh, things are looking good. Now the last thing we need is to... No liquid output. Oh, I never hooked up the pipes. Okay. That'll do it. Oh, that's the wrong material. I would like to use rock, not metal. Oh, I see what they're doing. They're fetching that as a building material. more pike apples yes indeed two more get those planted these things are doing a great job consuming all that co2 love it i love it Oh yeah, and I dug out that oxalite, which is getting some more oxygen thrown into the mix. Okay, what if I put the priority up on this? What happens? Does anyone grab water from the ice liquefier? Yeah, I guess it's bedtime. I'll find out tomorrow. Oh my god, this is already an hour episode. I'm so sorry, guys. I I really thought I'd make it shorter, but this game just plays so fast. You lose track of time so quick. It's a good sign. It's a good sign, I'll say. But, uh, wow. Wow, did I lose track of time. Um, I'm just gonna open that door, since now there's no point. But, yeah, I want to get this water system done before the end of this episode. So, I guess maybe the next one will be properly lengthed. Is there a reason? Oh, it's granite. That's why they're not building it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, in that case, we can change it to igneous rock. Like that. And then prio 6. Sweet. Okay, there's still no water getting dumped. 
So I don't think, I think if I enable auto bottle, it they'll start grabbing it. Yeah, here we go, see? Okay. And then that water gets pumped. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. There we go, now the bathrooms are getting, what's my F4, F5, F6? There we go, F6. Enable, enable, enable. Okay, and then I can have a sieve over here. Uh, do I, did I unlock that yet? Did I need the advanced to get the sieve? I think I did. Yeah. Yeah, so we're a ways away from a water sieve. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I guess power is the next thing we want. Wood or coal generator? Yep. And then critter harvesting. Is that something I need to research as well? I need advanced research for ranching. Interesting. Okay. So then I guess advanced research it is. The main goal for the next episode. And will this stop running once this is full of water? That's the other thing I'm uncertain of. Uh, I hope so. But I can deconstruct these now. And now we've got real lavatories. Yay! Automated poopage. And a new blueprint, which... More tablets. Ugh. Okay, I need... I need a new... A new, uh... Dupe. Do I like any of these? A ranching dupe with 15 husbandry is pretty insane. Slow learner, starts with a tier 3 skill, machinery and construction. Um, You seem decent on all the things. Ash can, and we need to change your name to our next Patreon supporter. And... The next one on the list is dun 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 dun, dun Lodro. Thank you for your support, Lodro. You are the new dupe in town. Warming your hands. Oh, I need another. Do these even help keep warmth in? I have no idea. Heat, 20,000 KDTUs. Interesting. Curious how much that actually is. It is negative 14 in here rather than negative 20. So it's it's adding some amount of heat to the world. Um, this doesn't block liquid or gas flow, so I'm just now kind of realizing that it's kind of pointless for insulating stuff. So if I do it that way, that'll be far more insulated in here with the airlock. That's a terrible idea, because then oxygen won't get in here. Ugh. Never mind. Don't deconstruct that. Cancel the deconstruct. Cancel that. I would need a pumping system to do that right. So it's hard to have an insulated system with a heater in it. Oh, goodness. I do need to move this over to add another cot, though. And yeah, we'll call that an episode. I think this is a good spot to stop. We've got... 
mostly sustainable food and mostly sustainable oxygen. We're basically only spending phosphorite and ice to keep those two things going. And we have those in large supply. So I'm not super worried about that. And yeah, we'll call that the end of the episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I will see you all in the next episode.